In this episode, I'm going to show you how you can move beyond Premiere Pro and link your footage and your audio into other Adobe programs, including Adobe After Effects and Adobe Audition. This is done by the dynamic link feature. So let's get into it. So first of all, why would you want a dynamic link? Why would you want to open up After Effects and Audition for editing? Well, Premiere Pro is amazing, but first and foremost, it is a video editing program. It's meant for cutting your video and cutting your audio. Now over the years, Premiere Pro has evolved. It started as a basic video cutting, a video editing program, but now it's sort of merged between all of the other Adobe programs. And now it's capable of doing some really amazing motion graphics, video editing effects, and loads more in the video editing space. And it's also really good at sound design and audio editing but it does have its limits. And this is where the dynamic link feature or linking into After Effects and Audition is really handy because it allows you to unlock that next level. So let me show you how to link your video into After Effects. So as you can see, I've got this video that I've been working on throughout this course and we want to add a specific effect to it. So in order to link this into After Effects, we're just going to click on the clip. We'll right click and go up to replace with After Effects composition. That is going to take a few seconds to load up Adobe After Effects and then it will ask me to save the project. So I'm just going to rename this to Linked Premiere. Of course, you can rename this whatever you like. If you're working on a specific music video, then I would always call this the music video name or a specific film Add the title there, but we'll just save that. And now that is linked inside of Adobe After Effects. And if we go back to Premiere, so you can now see our footage has turned into this After Effects composition and it has changed color to represent that change. So if we go back into After Effects, you can now see we've got a whole world of different effects inside of Adobe After Effects. Now Adobe After Effects is a really advanced and really intelligent program and there's way too many features and plugins and all sorts of amazing features that I just can't squeeze into this one video. But I'll show you if we go into, let's go onto the text icon and let's just add some text. So we'll go AE juice, go into the character window. We'll increase the size of this. We'll change this to white. Then we'll move this into the middle roughly. If we go back into Premiere Pro, you'll now notice that text is there and our footage is still on this one layer. So of course you can go ahead and you can do some color correction. You can add some video effects. You can add your transitions in here. Or you could even go into the AE Juice Pack Manager and you can add some effects using AE Juice's After Effects plugins, which are incredible. And there's a lot more availability in After Effects than Premiere. So you can link your footage in here and add all of those effects on. But once you've finished all of your editing on your footage, you can go back into Premiere and you'll notice your video clip is going to play back pretty much in real time. And it's great because you don't have to export anything out of After Effects and import it into Premiere. It just directly connects into Premiere and everything is there ready to go in seconds. If for some reason though, it doesn't sync across, then just go into After Effects, go Command S or go File, Save. And that's just going to save the project. And then it might take Premiere a second to catch up with that, but it will refresh and everything will be there. So let's say you wanted to add one of AE Juice's After Effects presets into Premiere. You would use the dynamic linking feature in order to do so. So inside of Premiere, you would just have to create a new black video. So you'd go new item, black video, press OK on this. Or alternatively, you could create a color mat, but just drop your black video into your sequence. Extend the duration of this. So let's say we want this to be 30 seconds. We'll drop the 30 second black video in. And then we'll right click this, go replace with After Effects composition like we did before. And then all you have to do from here is go into the AE Juice Pack Manager. So we'll just extend this out. As you can see, we've got Cyberpunk HUD, Kinetic Typography, Seamless Transitions, but let's go with the Kinetic Typography one. So we'll double click this. And as you can see, we've got all of these different typography presets. So let's go for this one, for example, super long text. So we'll just import that into our project. And there you go, you can see we've got super long text. So all you'd have to do from here is go into poster 15. You've got controls here and you've got text. So we'll go into text first. We'll change this to AE juice. So now when we go back to the poster, everything else has changed there. If we go into controls and select effect controls, we can also change the colors. So we can change the font color to black. We can change the background color to white. 
we can change background color two. We'll push this towards the blues. Background color three, again, we'll put towards the blue. Uh, background four, we'll make this, let's go for a yellow. We'll turn the green to yellow as well. Orange, we'll make a pinky color. Uh, we'll change this bottom blue to a black. And there you go, you can see we've completely changed the look of this just by adjusting these effect controls here. So we'll go back to our main composition and that will adjust. And then we'll go into Premiere. And as you'll see, we've now got that inside of Adobe Premiere Pro, even though that is an After Effects plugin. Of course, you could also do the same thing with any of the AE Juice plugins. So if we go into the AE Juice Pack Manager, so let's go for the animated emoji, for example. So we're going to animated emoji and you can see we've got emojis, food, gadgets, hats and masks, icons. Let's go for icons. So we've got this icon geolocation. Let's import that into After Effects. So that's in our composition now. We'll just pull this back to the very beginning. And as you can see, that is just going to loop for as long as we need it to. So because we've dynamic linked from Premiere into After Effects, that will now update there. And that means we can drop this onto our footage and we can also adjust the size of this comp to change the size of this icon that we just added in After Effects. So that is one of the advantages of dynamic linking. So moving on, we've now got this audio. So this is a video clip of a previous episode where I'm talking about masking. So this mask is made up of four points. So let's just expand this. As you can see, we've got our audio here. So if you were to create a vignette. And it already does sound great. But I'm going to take this one step further. I'm going to do some sound editing in Audition. So if we go into Premiere Pro, as you can see, we've got audio effects. And of course, in audio effects, we've got amplitude, compression, delay and echo, filter and EQ, modulation. And there's loads of different plugins here. And they are great. But again, even though Premiere is amazing and it's advanced, it does have its limits. So if you want to do something that's beyond the realm of Premiere, then all you have to do is right click We'll go edit clip in Adobe Audition and that will transfer that clip into Adobe Audition. But there you go. That has opened this up into Adobe Audition, which is a separate program. So, of course we could... so briefly, if we go up into multi-track, we can do some multi-track editing. We've got some effects that we can add. So you've got your amplitude and compression, delay and echo, diagnostics, filter and EQ, modulation, noise reduction, reverb, special, stereo imagery, time and pitch. There's loads of things there yeah, you can do, or you can also go into the audio plugin manager and you can install your own plugins downloaded from the internet. Again, that's really handy. And then if you go into favorites, you've also got this list of really awesome plugins and effects that you can just drop onto your footage. So denoise is a very popular one. Now at the moment, this is just currently set to the default view, but if we go into window workspace, you can see it's on default and we've got all of these other workflows. So we've got advanced mixing, classic, default audio to video, essential video mixing, loudness, mastering and analysis, maximum editing, which is dual monitor, radio production, restoration and simple editing. So let's go into advanced mixing and that's going to change. And already you can see this is far more advanced than what Premiere has to offer. Now, again, just like After Effects, Audition has so many advanced and incredible features, and there's just too many for me to explain in this one short video. But all you have to do once you're finished with your audio is you just export that from Audition. So export file. You can drop this wherever you want to drop this. So I'm going to drop this on the hard drive. So we'll go here. We'll drop this onto our hard drive of choice. Press save, press OK. That's just going to export. And then all you have to do is just go back into Premiere and then just drop that audio into Adobe Premiere Pro. And that will sync up exactly the same as before. Using masking. Now, Premiere Pro has evolved over the years and it has become a really advanced one stop shop for video and audio effects as well as video cutting. But if you wanted to do something more precise and more intricate, whether it's video or audio, then linking your video or your audio into After Effects and Audition is a really great way of being really precise and unlocking those advanced features that these other programs provide. Now, I must note that Adobe After Effects and Adobe Audition are completely different programs to Premiere Pro. So if you don't have these installed on your computer, then you're not going to be able to dynamic link from Premiere 
into these programs. But if you're subscribed to the Adobe Creative Cloud plan, then all you have to do is just download these and that will work a treat. But if you've only paid for Premiere Pro and you haven't paid for After Effects and Audition, then unfortunately you're either going to have to buy these to unlock this feature or you're just going to have to ignore the linking feature and just work within Adobe Premiere Pro which is fine because Premiere Pro is incredible and it provides you with pretty much everything you would need to make a great video. And there you go, the dynamic link episode is now complete. In the next episode, we're talking all about color. More precisely, the difference between correction and grading, how to edit with LUTs, how to edit with adjustment layers, and how to export your LUTs from Premiere and use them on a future project.